Yo, what up guys, it's your boy here, Judah Yugi, giving you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 episode review for you guys, this is episode 119, so let's get started with this, this was a pretty good episode overall, uh, it was okay, it was, it was strange in its own way, I'm gonna separate this review into two parts, the beginning part, which is the play-by-play -play and everything that was going on, the second part being, I guess, my complaints about the episode, yes, I do have complaints about the episode, because it was kind of eh, it was kind of weird in some ways but i'll get to that and so we basically get a little reminder of what happened i think two episodes ago when they showed that rory threw kaito off the tower and whatnot so shun finally gets up to the top of the tower where rory is and then he sees rory and then they see each other and they're all happy smiling so they go and they hug each other all sweet and morally and she doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with her at all and then Kaito comes comes up because he went after him and he says, oh, that's not your sister. She's not the same anymore. She threw me off a building. And she's like, oh, what are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't do that. You were here just a minute ago and, and then you just disappeared. And so uh, the Shun, as the older brother, was defending her against Kaito and what he was saying. He's like, oh, this is my sister. What are you talking about? You know, I know who she is and this is her. You know, there's nothing wrong with her. And then there was this awkward moment where like, uh, Rory closed her eyes and she opened it again kind of evil or menacing like but it was just drawn really awkward and strange so it just didn't feel right or look right it just looks it looked kind of dumb and then she like tried to attack Shun and you know grab a hold of him but like he, he I guess he countered or something it was just weird the way it was animated it didn't really flow right so it just made that whole scene look kind of awkward but anyway so moving forward Rory asked asked Shun to a duel. Shun says, oh yeah, I'm gonna get you back and this and that. I'm gonna take you and bring you back to normal and whatnot. So he starts the duel. Kaito goes goes uh, running off. I forgot what he was gonna run off to go do, but he went running off. And then he went back up the, he went back up the stairs because he was holding a card in his hand that I guess he wanted to give to Shun and we'll get to that later. So the duel begins. Shun goes first. He summons his rise falcon like he always does. Then he sets one back row. And then it's Ruri's turn, so Ruri starts to play. She has a pretty interesting deck. It's a Sparrow deck or something like that. So she has a couple. Her monsters are are level one Sparrow monsters. It's like these cute little girls dressed up in kind of like these bird-like outfits. Maybe it's not a costume. Maybe it's like a hybrid, you know, kind of humanoid bird type of thing. These little girls, but yeah, it was really cute, really adorable. It's, I found it interesting that she uses a bunch of level 1 monsters. So she goes ahead and she summons 5 level 1 Sparrow monsters and overlays them to summon her Xyz monster, uh, something Sparrow Nightingale or whatever or whatever it was. But uh, I love that card. I love the design of it. It looks beautiful and I love the colors that they chose for it. It's, it's a really cool and unique card and it's a rank 1 with 5 uh, I think it's it's probably two or more level ones and then depending how many you use but either way she used five so the effect of that monster is it gains 100 attack for every overlay unit on it it has five so it has 500 attack and it has a unique effect where it can attack your opponent directly uh, for each material you have on it so since it has five she can attack directly five times and during that same turn and it only has 500 so that's what she does she goes she attacks Shun directly uh, for 500 five times so he took 2500 points of battle damage in one shot which was uh, really cool really badass it was a pretty quick duel actually so uh, what happened after that I think he Shun activated some sort of trap card I don't remember specifically what it was but he activated some trap card to evade something I forgot so anyway, it's Shun's turn. Shun uh, ranks up his Rise Falcon to summon Blaze Falcon, and then you know he tries to pop. He activates its effect to try to destroy her Nightingale, but uh, Nightingale's effect is you can attach one of its overlay units to protect it from battle or destruction, and I think you take no damage also. So she did that, so she was completely protected, but her attack went down because she has less overlay units. Then Shun attacks it. She protects herself again, so. Now it has 300 attack, and, um, and and then I think Shun just ended his turn, then it was her turn, so she attacked Shun directly three times for 300 points, so he went down, he was like at 
600 life points now. During the part where Rory was just constantly attacking him directly, uh, we see a little clip of, of her true self like in her mind or whatever, who was kind of possessed. She's there in this uh, kind of like area where there's like water or whatever. She's just sitting there kind of like dazed or just like completely hypnotized I guess or whatever you call it but that's supposed to be the re representation of her true self and whatnot so that was a nice scene there was no music playing it was just like you hear the little water droplets and it was nice it was a beautiful scene um yeah it was a beautiful scene in general and she's slowly starting to wake up from it you know the more she sees Shun getting hurt from the direct attacks the more she's waking up from the control, I guess, which is uh, pretty interesting because that didn't really happen with Rin at all when when Yugo was trying to get to her. But that's that's another story. That's not that big of a deal. So moving on, Rory activated a quick play spell card, especially summoning a level one from her hand. So she summons the Parasite Fusioner card during the battle phase, and Fusion summons that along with uh, along with the Nightingale's um, Xyz monster that she had and she summoned independent nightingale fusion monster and its effect i believe was it gains a level for each material that the Xyz monster had on it so she the fusion monster is a level one since it had three overlay units when it was used as fusion material she gained three levels so she was a level four and she gains 500 attack for each of her levels so four times five whatever it had 2000 attack points so it had uh yeah so the monster had 2000 attack points or was it 3,000? Did hmm. I think it started with 1,000 originally, and then it went up up by 2,000, so it's 3,000 or whatever. So, and then it has another effect where you could burn your opponent for for um, 500 for each uh, level it has on it. So she was gonna burn Shun for 2,000. I might be getting some of the stuff wrong here, but so she tried to burn Shun for 2,000, but he picked up one of the action cards, which was acceleration, which negated the effect damage of that. So. That was fine he was safe from that so that pretty much ended her turn i believe and then it was his turn he drew the card that kaito gave to him so they went and they showed a flashback of kaito going back up and giving him the card and the card was obviously little fairy which sayaka gave to kaito and kaito gave it to shun so shun summoned the little fairy monster and he was trying to get he was trying to get to rory trying to you know wake her up so he's like oh rory do you remember that time we were in that tournament and Sayaka beat you which is funny anyway so Sayaka beat Ruri and Sayaka came over and gave her the little fairy card because she's her best friend and she, you know she, she, she just wanted to uh, I guess cheer her up and I guess fight by her side so she gave her the little fairy card Shun comes out of nowhere all angry and pissed off and he says oh as a duelist you can't you can't accept um, cards from your opponent so easily or whatever and then he smacks the card out of her hand which is like okay all right so apparently he was an angry person even before this whole incident happened he was very angry and still kind of not very friendly with people in general and he said that he got even worse once he lost once he lost Rory so but basically the whole point of this little speech that he's getting at is that um through Yuya and through the Lancers and through um, Kaito and everyone else, he was able to he was able to trust people again and he was able to make friends and he understands why Sayaka gave her the card, you know, because friends and bonds are important and whatnot. He didn't say those specific words, but you know, just the importance of friendship and comrades and all that stuff. So, but obviously, Rory's like, I don't care about any of that. That doesn't mean anything to me. So he summons Little Fairy, activates its effect, discards two cards to bump its level up by two, so now it's a level five. He activates this spell card called Cross Xyz Summon or something. Uh, Cross Xyz, something like that. And he's able to treat uh, his Blaze Falcon. I think it was Blaze. Is the Blaze level five or six? I don't remember. But the Blaze, yeah, the Blaze Falcon, it changes its rank to its level, so you're able to use it as an Xyz material. So he used the level 5 little fairy and the level 5 blaze falcon and overlay to summon this new raid raptor i forgot the name of this new xyz monster but it looks really unique it's a rank 5 it's really interesting uh i think it had the ability to like burn for 2000 as well i don't i don't remember its specific effect but he tried to burn her out and she activated the effect of the fusion monster to i think it just like avoided the damage it either avoided the damage or prevented it from being destroyed and she still took the damage and then Jun 
uh, during the battle phase. He attacked. Then uh, out of nowhere, because Rory throughout the entire time was like really worried because like Shun was getting really hurt. So she tried to stop herself. So the, her true self, her good self, um, was kind of holding her dark self back. So they kind of showed like her spirit, her true spirit, like holding her arm, uh, preventing her from activating the effect so that he could go through. And then uh, the real Rory woke up and she told Shun to attack her to finish her off so that's what he did so he attacked her and finished her off and you know she lost the duel and that's pretty much how the duel ended and yeah so overall pretty good stuff what I found really interesting about the episode with the whole Ruri and Shun thing was how she was speaking throughout the duel it was very strange because like I know when they're when the girls are possessed by this power they still have the memories there's they still have their own memories but they and they can recall them but they either don't care about them or they view them differently uh, and, and they don't have as much interest in it so in this duel it was kind of like she didn't she had all these weird things she was saying to Shun like oh like she made it seem like the it was kind of like this rivalry thing it felt like a rivalry thing this brother sister rivalry thing that they had but based on the true Rui's uh, look, it doesn't seem like she has anything against her brother. But apparently when she's controlled, all of a sudden she has this great thing against her brother. I don't know if that bug also reacts to her true conscious emotions, her subconscious emotions. And is able to bring that out during that possession and whatnot. Because she was speaking as if she had something against you. And she was saying like, oh, don't speak to me like that. Uh, I think I'm not your possession or something like that. Or... I forgot specifically what she said, but she was speaking as if Shun did something that like does stuff to her or this is the weird part. It's hard to explain because this episode didn't really elaborate on Shun and Ruri's relationship as brother and sister in the past. Like we didn't get much flash. We got one flashback, which is an episode that showed a Shun like snacking the car out of her hand and that was pretty much it that's all the flashback we got on I guess who they used to be back in their old life but like it makes like they didn't add enough so it made the context of the duel seem kind of weird because we didn't know it's not like we already know a lot about these characters so the duel has a lot of emotion you know it is uh, it, it's this is the duel where they're supposed to give us as much information about these two maybe give memories of these two being together or working together or something or fighting against each other give us something to show what this brother and sister relationship is but they didn't actually show anything really about that they just showed that shun was a jerk and now he's not a jerk it was more of a scene to show how shun has grown as a character which is great for him but as a brother and sister relationship that we are very unfamiliar with we didn't see anything that really showed us who they are i just got little hints about it, it based on what ruri was saying it, it kind of made it seem like shun was always maybe controlling her or was kind of always on her telling her what to do or something that's what it made it seem but they didn't explain it well you know, it just made it seem based on what Ruri was saying, like don't don't make a fool out of me or something like that, or you know, don't underestimate me. Oh, it's just like you for it's just like you to to want to win all the time and this and that. So she was just saying so many strange things, but I didn't get why she was saying it because we don't have enough background information about these two characters as as brother and sister for it to really mean anything. And if you guys rewatch it, it kind of. I rewatched this episode like two, three times already, and I still don't understand it. I'm just making assumptions. I'm assuming that at some point in the past, based on Shun always being a jerk, that at some point he was always kind of telling her what to do. But that one clip that they showed wasn't really enough because that was more focused on Shun's development. Uh, they needed to show more. This episode didn't clarify anything, and it wasn't really very emotional, really at all. Like. I really love the way the Rin and Yugo episode was done because even though she never actually woke up from the spell, Yugo was trying his absolute hardest. He threw a bunch of memories at the audience to show us their dreams and how hard they worked and you know how could you 
How could you break our bike? Everything we worked for. How could none of this mean anything to you anymore? You know, and he was crying and he was yelling and screaming. And you could feel the emotion and pain that he was going through seeing her like this. And he wanted her back with everything that he had. And he tried his absolute best. And just the emotion Hugo showed as a character to show how much he cared about Rin and how much he wanted her back and was willing to fight for her and for their dreams. It just was so much more emotional. And this episode with Rory and Shun wasn't emotional. It was just kind of like, it was like this aggressive, it was aggressive and it was just kind of like, it was weird because the way Rory was like trying to protect Shun from from her dark self or her possessed self you know it doesn't seem like she has anything against her brother but based on what she was saying when she was controlled it made it seem like she did have some sort of secret feelings against her brother because it it just seemed like she had something but like it didn't explain it so it I just don't understand what it was for what all those words for it was interesting but what was the point of it all they didn't elaborate on their relationship and that was the main problem of this episode other than the awkward animation and the preview misleading us thinking this episode was going to be animated perfectly when in reality most of the episode was animated pretty bad and they only showed the and the parts where they animated it very well so it was very misleading and the episode wasn't nearly as emotional as it should have been because we've been waiting since the very beginning of the series since Shun first appeared and talked about you know him getting back his sister this was supposed to be a very big moment and it wasn't that big and it didn't feel that influential but the Hugo and Rin one felt a lot more emotional it, it had so much more context in their relationship we got to see them both in many different scenarios building their but like it was just so much better we know about Hugo and Rin and their relationship so you felt that emotion that Hugo was feeling but here we didn't know much about these two so it was hard to really connect to them it was a cool duel sure fine it was very aggressive back and forth but what like it wasn't emotional like whenever Shun duels he, he duels with such power and such emotion and you would think that he would probably break down once he sees Rui like this or something or you know he would at least be super duper angry or something like it just I didn't feel anything in this episode I, it was just more like me watching it saying okay all right cool that's that's interesting or you know whatever right yeah that's fine I guess I remember what my raw reaction it was actually kind of dead my raw reaction was whack I was just like when I was done watching the episode, I was just like, okay, I, I guess that was that was good. When I watched it sub, it was a little bit better, you know, because the words, the context was a lot better. But even then, it was just like, it was still out of place. And, and then they kept showing like little clips of like Salvatari in the jungle and, and Crow in the jungle. And then at the end, they showed that scene with the battle beast. And I'm like, they could have taken that out and spent that time giving it to Rory and Shun putting more flashbacks or or putting more emotion be in the episode in general they should have just cut that out and focused just only on them and and, and flushed it out more but they didn't Ugh. so I'm sorry that I'm saying so many negative things about the episode the, the episode to me I'm sorry just didn't feel nearly as emotional or impactful as the Rin and Yugo one and we've been waiting for this duel longer than the Rin and Yugo one, so it should have been more. We should have gotten so much more. It should have at least been two episodes. Uh, because for this, this was important. This should have been at least two episodes. And on top of that, they cut cut out some scenes to show the Battle Beast stuff. And that's not even that important. You could We're getting a whole episode, next episode, about that. They could have just put that there. I don't know why they had to take time out of this duel for that. I don't know. But yeah, that's my review for you guys. I'm sorry for all the negative comments about the episode. It just bugged me that I didn't feel what I was supposed to feel in this episode. I was, maybe it's my fault for anticipating something. It was a good episode. It was okay, but it wasn't mind blowing either. Anyway, that's my review. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next review. God bless you guys. Thank you for everything. Gotcha.